Hey guys, I'm on my way to the Safe Harbor Resource Warehouse. Haven't been there since I was sick, and I was sick for over 10 days, so it's been probably more than a month since I've been to the Safe Harbor Resource Warehouse. Um, I just got behind a lot of funeral traffic, so anyway, it's going to take me a little bit longer to get there than I expected, but hopefully we'll find some good stuff today. Okay, here we are. Check out the front window first. Some pretty dresses up there. There's a coach purse for $39.99. Coach $19.99. Mama bag for $9.99. Hey, This is cute for $9.99. Look at that one. That's cute. There's lots more jewelry on the other side behind me, but I can't show you because there's people there. $2.99 for this set right here. $2.99 for this little choker style necklace. If you pick out jewelry to buy, as soon as you walk in the store, you have to leave it with the cashier while you finish shopping. It's super busy in here, and y'all know I try to film without filming any other customers or employees, so I apologize in advance for any unsteady camera movements. They want $39.99 for this table. The chairs are sold separately. I can't get here as often as I like, so this will be a long video because I'm going to try to take you through this entire store today because I want you to see what all they sell. There's like a little something for everybody in here, including the kids. There is so many knickknacks and that type of thing to look at in here. If you like to collect uh, vintage glassware, knickknacks, whatever, you need to come here and check out Safe Harbor Resource Warehouse. Anything blue and white is usually pretty popular, especially now that it's spring and summer. Blue and white is especially popular during the summertime. There are people shopping all around me, and I'm trying to be respectful and stay out of their way while I film. I am also shopping for myself while I'm here. In case you didn't know, I am not a reseller. I do know several resellers, and I've had friends that have tried to get me to become a reseller, but I just do not have the time to commit to it, and I know that and understand that. Therefore, I'm not going to attempt to do that, at least not at this time. When I see things that I think my friends would like that do resell, I try to make sure that they know where to go and pick up those items. The way I look at it, each time someone buys an item, whether it's just someone for personal use or to resell, you're saving that item from ending up in a landfill potentially, and I think that's a good thing. Crazy lamp lady found a rooster like this recently, but I don't think she paid that much for it. And yes, I watch her channel and I learn a lot from watching her. Even though I'm not a reseller, I still like to learn about brands and vintage glassware and that sort of thing so that I can make smarter purchases for myself. Oh, it's chipped. Too bad. $4.99, but it's chipped. This is cute. Thought it was a pin cushion, but it's not. Eight dollars. That would have been a really cute pin cushion, in my opinion. 
It's really pretty. It's not priced. Oh, yes, it is. It's a dollar ninety-nine. Super cute. A little teeny tiny. Awesome. Thank you so very much. Teapot with the snowman on it. There's another customer that keeps walking around talking on the phone loudly in circles around me and it's breaking my concentration. I've had to hear more than five minutes of a phone call that's none of my business. <laughs> I actually stopped filming for just a few minutes trying to not pick up this conversation in this video. It's resin. That was ceramic. This is resin. I'm not sure what this is. Angels. The music is just so loud in this one section today. I've got to edit it out as much as I can. The employees work really hard in here to make sure they keep these shelves stocked and organized. They want $34.99 for this bottle rack. Look how big it is. It's two tiers. I like this vase. I have these blue-gray chairs that I need to find some decor to match, but I think this is too light-colored to go with my chairs. Wow, the music is really loud. I'm trying to edit some of that out as much as I can, y'all, without just deleting out all of the background audio. I really don't like to delete out the background audio because I think that makes it a less authentic feeling experience for anybody watching from home. Ooh, glassware is always pretty. It just always has a pretty color to it most generally, no matter what shade of blue it is. Look at how they display their artwork. I love it. When artwork is displayed hanging on the wall, that makes me want to buy it because that way I get a general idea of what it's going to look like hanging up rather than sitting on a floor somewhere. Most of our thrift stores do a really good job at displaying their artwork and their knickknacks. I love their lamp section. They usually have in some really nice lamps and you can find a lot of vintage lamps here too. It looks like this one block broke off or came loose, but you could probably fix that easy enough. This little angel lamp is super cute, and they only want $12.99 for it. Here's a teapot that still has its lid. Look at that handle. I just love that handle. It's so unique. They only want $7.99 for that teapot. My grandparents used to cook with these little aluminum style pots. This little ceramic sugar jar still has its lid and the ceramic little sugar spoon. That's unusual to find the entire thing intact like that. They want 49 cents per box for 50 paper straws. That's less than one cent per straw. Over in this section, there's more home decor. I have to admit, I'm often surprised by the things that people will buy and collect. This is different. I'm assuming that someone made that. I have always found it fascinating that people will collect shoes or boot figurines. Even the little hobnail milk glass shoes, I just always thought it was interesting that people would want a shoe to sit on a shelf. And my grandmother was a milk glass collector and she had one of those shoes and she could never tell me why she wanted a shoe sitting on the shelf other than, well, it's milk glass. This is a button doll that is brand new, but it's coming detached from the box, I think, and it's having a hard time sitting upright on the shelf. Well, this is different. It's a little bird on top of a bell. They want 99 cents for it. This little rose trinket box is also 99 cents. 
This is an angel in human form, and they want 99 cents for it, too. I guess I'm in the 99 cent section right here. I see another teapot down here. This is unusual. I've already seen like three or four teapots today. They want $3.99 for this one. They want $4.99 for this. I'm not sure what it is for. It looks like it's missing like a little crystal ball on the lid there. Does this hold nuts or candies or something? I've heard people say the prices here are too high, but I think they're very reasonable. Here's another teapot, $4.99. This is cute with the musical notes on it. I don't think I've ever seen this many teapots in one thrift store at the same time before. This decorative shoe is actually a candle. At first glance, I thought that candle wick was a toothpick sticking out of there. I thought maybe they were using that as a toothpick holder. They usually have a large selection of stemware and clear glassware to choose from. They want $2.99 for this little green trinket dish. They want $2.99 for this vase, and they want $1.99 for the blue stemware. If you like using metal decor inside or outside, you can find some really good deals on some items in here. I cannot stress enough just how awesome it is that they built this system to hold artwork and wall decor. These displays make me actually want to buy artwork. This is super cute. It looks like it could be vintage. I'm pretty sure it's missing a lid though. This is like a really heavy acrylic. Or maybe it's resin. I'm not really sure. Oh my God, look, there's another teapot. They want $3.99 for this one. Somebody tell me how many teapots have we seen today because I've lost count. They want $11.99 for this lead crystal decanter. This little blue jar brings back memories. My mother and my grandmother both used to get face creams and perfumed body lotions in little jars like that. This is a cute little cross box, except it's made out of a flimsy plastic material. This little bud face is an eye-popping green. Got a couple of little clear glass trinket bowls. And I do believe that their prices are reasonable compared to some of the other thrift shops. Not all of them, but most. They want $24.99 for this Asian style porcelain teapot. They want $19.99 for this vase. I don't know if that's a good deal or not because I did not do a Google image search. Here's another quick glance at the jewelry. I'm trying to stay out of the way of some other customers. They do have quite a bit of sterling silver necklaces and rings. There's some really cute vintage brooches and stick pins too. They want $5.99 for this vintage green glassware and $4.99 for this one. They want $8.99 for the pitcher. Is this cabbage bowl supposed to be a sugar bowl? Because it's awful big. And these are salt and pepper shakers. I think this is the salt shaker. I do not see the pepper shaker. Each one of these pieces are priced individually. 
Look at how adorable this little two-tier table is. And check out the chair right beside of it. I love it. Sorry about the noise. There's a kid sitting right behind me in one of the chairs just stomping his feet on the floor over and over. This ceramic basket of roses is cute, but it's missing one of the roses. They want $1.99 for the pink swan. They want $3.99 for the large bear and $1.99 for each one of the smaller ones. And yes, that kid is still sitting behind me stomping his feet. I guess someone's mad that mom is still shopping and not taking him home. I kind of feel sorry for the poor boy. He's probably a pre-teenager and you know, they're just not into shopping at that age. Well, at least most of them are into shopping at that age, I should say. It's not in perfect shape, but I love the frame and the bad places on the cork board will be covered up. This will go well with my countertops. I think I'm going to think about this one. My husband told me the other day he needed a bell to ring for whenever he needed to call for me. I almost bought this for him as a joke. This hand-painted cherry blossom plate is cute. They won $1.99 for this pretty little trinket box. Let's take a look at some of the kitchen items. This is a cute tray for vegetables and dinner. There's an assortment of water bottles, tumblers, coffee mugs, and usually teacups to choose from too. It's Corel. I might get that. I like that one. These are heavy. $9.99 for a four-piece set. Here's a gravy boat. $1.99. Give you a quick view. Just, you can buy mix and match plates over here, and there's some sets. I'm not seeing anything that's really grabbing my attention right through here, but we'll take a quick look just so I can show you guys what all they have. Sorry to be repetitive, but I love, absolutely love that they hang up all the artwork that they can possibly hang up. Make sure you always check to see what is for sale around the window displays because you can find some really good stuff up here in these displays sometimes. Ninety-nine cents. That's a big picture. These are really big. These are like four and a half feet wide. because I can't hold them all up here. But they got some really big pictures if you like art. This is the place to come. There's a lot of different styles of artwork to choose from. There's something hiding in that corner over there towards the outside window that I did not see until I left, so you'll have to watch until the very end to see what it was. 
if it looks like I'm backtracking to sections that I have already shown you, that is because employees are walking around putting out more stuff as I'm filming, and I want to see if there's anything spectacular to show you. This artwork was not here the first time I filmed this. This artwork is $24.99. $24.99 for each one of these. $8 for those. No, wait. $2.99. She's marked down. Looks like a Parisian woman, I guess. Kids bed over there with a built-in bookcase. King size, $39.99. Those posters got to be about 12 feet tall, maybe. Queen size bed, $30. Yeah, those posters are tall. You'd have to have some high ceilings to fit the bed in your room. Lots of golf clubs. There's some skis. A lot of tennis or racquetball. Rackets. Some weights and other miscellaneous gear, scuba gear. This is exercise equipment. They want $44.99 for this desk. This side of the store is really busy, so it's going to be noisy over here. Sorry for the unsteady camera movements. I'm trying not to film people as they're walking around the furniture looking at it. They usually have a good selection of baskets and they're pretty cheap here too. Look at all of those miscellaneous dining chairs and accent chairs. And this is just a view of some of the bigger pieces of furniture that they have. They want $79.99 for this china hutch. You know, I always have to try the doors and drawers. They want $69.99 for this cedar chest. And if I would have just paid attention to the word chest, then I would have known you have to open it from the top. The little button there, you have to push it really hard to get it to open. But this is a super spacious chest. Cedar aroma helps keep the clothing moths out of your clothing and blankets. Yeah, it opens it because it's a chest. They only want $29.99 for this little cabinet. It's cute. It kind of has a vintage look to it. It's a sewing desk, but there's no sewing machine in it. But this is one of the ones that actually looks like a regular desk. I'm not sure if this is a dresser or what. Yeah, it says dresser and mirror for $149.99. Here's another chest. But it has the tag ripped off, so maybe somebody went to pay for it. That's a nice chest, too. This little desk is great for small spaces. They want $49.99 for it. This one seems to be in pretty good shape. The drawers work and stuff, so that's nice. And it's got a cute trim around there. Several antique pieces. Let's see how much they want for this dresser. $84.99. $64.99 for this armoire. It is big. It's, it's probably 10 feet tall. very dark. It's got to be like a really dark walnut color. Well, I take that back. More like an espresso. Dresser and mirror, $80. This thing is vintage. Let's see if I can find any manufacturer markings in it. Could not find any manufacturer markings on it. The drawers need some love so that they will go in and out. I love those little decorative pools on there though. Look at that, those are cute. Like a little filigree. The handles are broke on this. $39.90. 
$11.99 for this nightstand. That'd be a good deal for someone who wants to fix it up. It's um, solid wood, so that's a good buy, $11.99. This is a good place to buy your baby equipment. Antique potty chair, $6.99. This is the other place I like to come and buy my fabric rolls to redo my dining room chairs and stuff. You can get fabric here cheap if you buy it by the roll. So like this one is $5. And that's a lot of fabric. Some have a lot and some have just a little bit. So like this one doesn't have as much, but this is definitely like an upholstery fabric. This you could use for like curtains or something. But the most of this you'd use for like upholstering your chairs or your sofa. I am loving this look. They're displaying their wedding dresses and their formal wear as much as they can on mannequins. Wonderful because before I had to kind of dig through the racks to try to show it to you. Look at that wedding dress. It's gorgeous and it has a big long train hanging on the back side. It is so pretty. It's more formal wear hanging where you can see it. So this one was $168 brand new. They want $14.99 for it. It's a size six. Girls, that'd be beautiful for prom. Really pretty. Here's one for ladies, $24.99. It's a size medium. I'd say that's probably a size 10 to 12. Ladies, here's more wedding dresses for sale. As I've said, there's no shame in wearing a used wedding dress. You are only going to wear it one time, so save the money to spend on your honeymoon or towards purchasing a house with your new husband. This one's a size 6, $24.99. Look at all that beading. That's gorgeous. Has the bag that goes with it. This is just gorgeous, y'all. Here's one with spaghetti straps. Here's one with long sleeves and buttons on the sleeves and all this bead work. Look at these. If you're looking for a used wedding dress, then you need to come here to the Safe Harbor Warehouse. Safe Harbor Resource Warehouse, to be exact. These are gorgeous girls. Come on down and take a look at these things. Look at this. Look at the beading on this one on the sleeves. That's so cute. Somebody stuck a little dress in between there. And here's trains to go with them. And the little girl's dress with daisies. That's super cute. Here's some more formal style dresses. If you need something to wear to work or to church for your Sunday best, this is like a deep plum color and it's $12.99. It's a size 14, very pretty. This one is a size 20 W for $6.99. That's gorgeous, it's black, has a little flower decal on the waistline. Okay, lots of lady shoes again. For any of you resellers out there or anybody just looking for some new or used shoes, they have a mixture of both in here. It's really busy in here today and I'm trying to stay out of the way of other customers. Look at all these purses. I've never seen this many purses in here before. Furniture. So here's a nice stand for $24.99. drawers. That needs some love. They still have this little round coffee table for $14.99. Some mirrors. They have mirrors all the way down there. There's several different mirrors down that way to choose from. They have more nice things in tables. Some 
Jessica Simpson bag. It's in really good shape. Oh, it has the fur on the other side. $9.99 for a Jessica Simpson bag. Oh, that's interesting. This says it's a coach bag. Hmm. Okay. In there is the coach logo. It tells you when it was established, blah, blah, blah. It gives you the lot number or whatever. $10.99 for it. So for $10.99, you could have a coach bag. Do not buy purses based on brand. That's a nine in company. I just buy purses because I like them. I like the style, the way it feels. I know a lot of people like buying them by brand name. More pen tables and coffee tables right here. So this little glass on tables. $24.99. Let's look at the little piggies. $1.99. If you like any of them, like this. Here's this. The African shape coffee table for $49.99. The blue vase is $2.99. The end table is $21.99. This round glass coffee table is $39.99. We $7.99 for that bronze vase. This glass end table is $19.99. This marble looking coffee table is $29.99. It's not real marble, it feels like acrylic or something. And then this rustic looking coffee table is $29.99. Is $9.99. Um, hey guys. Some more formal wear. Very cute. Here's a futon for $59.99. Here's a rocking chair for $49.99. It, it rocks. It's in good shape. I sat in it. I tried it. Here is a sofa. It's like a dark gray color for $149.99. My sister's is trying to over here by the purses. Oh, some of it. So I gotta be careful I'm not getting Bay's name. This interesting little coffee table is $19.99. This bronze vase is $4.99. And um, yeah, it's some kind of glass, not sure what. Wingback chairs, $19.99. This big long coffee table is definitely vintage. It's $24.99. These little Pokemon tins, there's nothing in them. It's just the tins for $1.99. $24.99. for that one. This one is priced at $3. So, this whole section right here is just vinyl records. Over there's um, records, DVDs, and CD, C, CDs. And they are all priced at $0.99 cents unless they state all kinds of decorative flags. So, if you hang decorative flags outside your house, you might want to come and look here and see what you can find. Let me see. $1.99. So that's a really here good deal. They have placemats, curtains, shears, bedding, bathroom accessories, throw blankets. There's pillows, decorative pillows, bed pillows. A lot of times you can find brand new stuff. It looks like they don't have a lot today. The last time I was in here, they had all kinds of um, comforters still in the bag. Here's a throw, a fleece throw, 50 inches by 60 inches for $2.99. It's brand new. It still has the original tags on it. Accent pillows down there and uh, just different blankets and stuff. Here's some more brand new blankets throws for your couch or your chair or whatever. 
Still has the original packaging. Pillows, all kinds of accent pillows. Face mats, sheets, and over there's curtains and so, metal magazine rack for $4.99. There's also curtains in these bags, some of which are brand new and still in the original packaging. This is a shower curtain, brand new. Still in its original packaging. I don't see a price on it. I'm sure it's not much though. Bedding. This looks like. Oh, those are pillow shams, quilted pillow shams. Here's one of those body massages. There's two electronic bath scales down there. They have waist bins. Okay, back in the kids section. Jojo Siwa. Oh, look, it's the Barbie wheelchair. That's so cute. There's a Ken doll. Lots of different old Barbies and different types of dolls under there. Snow White. A dollar Nice toys for little boys. Oh, look at the school bus. Little people school bus. They have an electronic screen where you can come and look for computer equipment, stereo equipment, TVs, that kind of stuff. Assortment of ladies' belts. Cute little wall shelf. It's metal and wood for $9.99. Here's a white axe bucket with a lid. They want $3.99. Here's a blue one. They want $7.99 for it. I've seen a couple of these at the Goodwill bins and I passed them up and wish I wouldn't have. This is super cute. $3.99. Sorry guys, the music in this side of the store is super loud today. That's cracked really bad. <laughs> Golden Retriever carrying a dead bird. That's employees going around with shopping carts trying to put out stuff. It sounds like something's wrong with one of the wheels. This is a cute basket. Y'all know I love baskets, especially ones that have liners in them. They got a lot of tea kettles today. I think I'm going to get this because I can use it as a sugar jar. It's oven safe, dish washer safe, and microwave safe. So I can use it for just about anything. So I'm getting the bulletin board for $3.99, this for $1.99, and this cute mug for $0.99 cents just because I like it. Show you this pink ashtray they put out. Look how cute that is. It's like cherry blossoms, I guess, for five dollars. Genuine alabaster, hand carved. Yep, made in Italy. That is so cute. A collector. A lot of that. I'm sure. Setting out new stuff every time I turn around. Seven ninety nine for this vase. And they one dollar ninety nine. This is cute. It's just cardboard and like twine. Like a cardboard and twine box, but that's super cute. So anyone who likes to decorate with natural stuff, that's really cute. They have some really cute tables. I like eclectic looking stuff, so they want $14.99 for the chairs. And the table itself is $35.99. Sorry guys, I had to delete out the audio for this section because the music was just so overwhelmingly loud and I cannot afford any copyright issues.
guitar. Mm -hmm. They want $6.99 for this Tupperware pitcher. This little glass bowl with the green swirl sure is cute. They're asking $9.99 for it. As soon as I saw this, I thought it was going to be something really interesting, but it was made in China. The white with the red trim on it reminded me of the red and white enamel bowls and pots and pans that my grandmother used to use when I was a kid. This is a vintage candy dish. I already have two. They're not this color, but I definitely do not need another one. They want $14.99 for this large oval milk glass bowl. They want $9.99 for this. It was stamped that it was made in Burma. Let me go pay for my stuff and get home so I can show you everything that I bought today. Okay, guys, to show you what I bought from the Safe Harbor Resource Warehouse today, I bought this framed bulletin board. I only paid $3.99 for this, so it's a really good deal because look at this frame. The frame is worth that much. The bulletin board does look a little bit discolored from one side to the other, but that's not a big deal because it's going in my office area. It's going to have stuff all over it. It's not going to matter. The next thing I bought was this clock. I got so excited when I found it because it was sitting in the front window in the corner. So I didn't even see this until I was leaving the store after I had paid for my bulletin board and the other thing I bought. Um, and I actually had to go back in to purchase this separate after the fact. It was brand new, still in the box. I only paid $5.99 for this clock. It works just fine, and I have it hanging in my living room. The other thing that I bought was this little natural looking jar. It can be used as a sugar jar or whatever. It is microwave safe, dishwasher safe, and even oven safe. I like it because it's natural looking and it kind of goes with my kitchen countertops. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again for the next video.